What is going on guys? I wanted to do a video today talking about one of the interesting things that I don't know, just an interesting car. Probably one of the worst cars that you can possibly buy. It is a Chevy Cobalt. Now let me just explain real quickly. This car is literally like a POS. Um, this car is my sister's car and she's had it now since 2008. She had it since it was brand new. And this car has, I mean, I think in the beginning it was okay, but as time went on, there's been so many problems with this car. Um, I'm not sure if it's really from my sister or just from the car itself, but pretty much Cobalts are the laughing stock of the car community, besides for the Cobalt SS's. Um, you know, those are pretty quick cars, those are pretty cool, but just the normal base Cobalts, pretty funny. Um, but let me show you though, this car. Here she goes, this is the Cobalt. And man oh man oh man, this thing has some major problems. But still was in good condition for 2008. Fires up. Actually, how many miles is on this thing? After all the other sensors stopped working. Yeah, this is my sister's Cobalt, and man, this thing is an interesting car. Uh, probably one of the worst cars I've ever driven, and I've driven some pretty bad cars, some pretty old cars. Uh, this car in its current state is pretty bad, not gonna lie to you. Uh, the suspension is completely gone. I mean, the back end of this thing is just floaty completely. You go over a bump, you're gonna be still bouncing up and down for a good amount of time afterwards. Fuel system went wrong in this car. The hazard light button fell through. Her speakers in the front, those stopped working. The hood doesn't quite work correctly. I don't know, there's been a lot of problems with this car. But you know what though, I'll say this much. This car, well actually no. I was gonna say this car has never left her stranded, but no, actually it had. That was, that was a while ago and I had to get up at like two o'clock in the morning to go find my sister. Um, but for the most part, it hasn't left her stranded, you know. It'll get you from point A to point B. Won't get you there fast, but more than likely it'll, it'll get you there. Sometimes you just need those type of cars they get you from point A to point B. They're not flashy, they're not, you know, anything extravagant, but they get you from point A to point B. And this is what this car has done. So, you know, as my sister, she's looking for a different car. This car still though, it has a special place in my heart. Cause I remember when this thing was brand new, like I was, I don't know, I wanted to drive her car so bad. I was like, this, this car is cool and everything else. That's before I really knew much about other cars, but, at the time, I was like, this car is so cool, it's really nice, and you know, everything else. But now looking back at it, and now I'm seeing as technology has definitely left this in the past. Um, it is a little bit sad just to see like, yeah, this is a type of car that it was cool at one point in time. Well, maybe not cool, but it was, you know, it was nice for what it, for what it was. Uh, and now you look back and you're like, wow, this is pretty dated. Um, it's only a 2008, but it's just this was a baseline economy car. It, it did its purpose, and that's really what it's what it did. And for this car to still be running, and you know, for the most part, you know, it's running all right. Um, you know, that's pretty good. But yeah, guys, I thought I should do just a quick little just walk around of my sister's car, just because of I don't know. It's a cool. Actually, it's not really cool at all. It's actually just a POS, but. It's still a car, and I thought I would show it to you guys, so yeah. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, give me a like. Check out some of the other videos that I've done. I've done a lot of other videos, not on this car, but on my car, and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you like those type of videos, check out my channel. And thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.